In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly change the frame rate of all your clips to be the exact same on your timeline. So this can save you a lot of time when you're working with different footage uh, that has been shot in different frame rates. So let me show you how to do it. So first of all, uh, once you are in Premiere, as you can see, uh, you have your clips here in your uh, library, right? So I have these three clips. One of them is 23.98 uh, frames per second. There is another one that's 50 frames per second. And there's another one that's 60 frames per second. So what I want to do is to make sure that all of these are matching. I'm trying to go for more of a cinematic vibe here. So here's what you want to do. You want to select all the clips that you are trying to match the frame rate of. And then you want to right click. And then here you want to click on modify interpret footage. And here, uh, where you normally have use frame rate from file checked, you want to click assume this frame rate. And then here, you want to put in the frame rate you are trying to make them uh, all match, right? So in this case, I want to go for the cinematic frame rate of 23.976 uh, frames per second. And then I'm going to click OK. And as you can see now, it interpreted all of these at that exact frame rate. Now, next up, I'm going to create a new sequence. So to do that, I will just right click here, new item sequence, and you can either choose from the presets that are available to you right here, or you can also set up your own settings. Um, so I'm just going to uh, leave the sequence 23.976 frames as well. And um, I want it to be 16 by nine, uh, 1920 by 1080. So then I'm gonna click okay. You can see it created my new uh, sequence. And now if I drag and drop these onto my timeline, just like that, uh, if I go ahead and play it back, you can see that now this is, you know, in buttery smooth. Uh, I mean, it's not buttery smooth in the playback because Premiere Pro, but it's a nice um, and smooth for slow motion footage, right? Um, same thing with this one as well. Uh, this was one of the higher frame rate clips and this one, which is uh, the regular 24-ish uh, frames per second clip, this stayed at regular speed. So you can see you don't have to, this way you don't have to go here and manually like set them all to a certain speed percentage to match um, the frame rate that your sequence is. You can just, you know, go ahead, uh, click on interpret footage and then set the frame rate to be uh, the frame rate that your sequence is in. And then those clips that were shot in a higher frame rate are automatically going to be stretched out on your timeline and they are going to be, uh, you know, nice and slow and uh, smooth. So this is a quick trick. I use it quite a lot and I hope this can save you some time as well. Hope you enjoy this video. If you want to learn more things about uh, content creation, uh, growing on YouTube and also landing your first couple high paying clients as a content creator or video editor, then go ahead and check out magnetic editing in the description below and I will see you in the next one.